As you saw in the title today, today's video is all about midi skirts. So you may have seen midi or longer form skirts everywhere. Um, it's certainly something that is trending. But depending on how you incorporate it into your closet, it can be made timeless, chic, and effortless. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Ko and I make videos around simple, easy styling tips for your everyday wear. I think midi skirt is perfect for someone who's looking for a skirt for all occasions. I have two that I brought back from Korea. This one is the first one and the second one I'm actually wearing right now. It's essentially exactly this, just in like a darker gray black wash. The reason why I personally have affinity towards midi skirts or just like longer form skirts is that I feel like anytime where I wear a skirt, it definitely flares out even if it's not intended to be like that. If it's not long enough to cover, you know, everything, I feel like I'm just like, like so scared of flashing everyone. I tend to gravitate towards pants during the summer and I think midi skirt was like the perfect middle way for me. I got it from Korea so I can't really recommend you the brand as much but I can definitely speak to the fit. So a couple of watch outs when it comes to the fit. First thing is walkability. So I highly recommend you to really try on multiple brands. So you either want the slit to be in the front or the back. I personally like the look of the back better. I like more plain look in the front and I think as it's trending a lot of different companies are coming out with their own versions of it and you're picking out your own I would recommend that you go for the one that has less embellishment rips coloring washes you want to go for something that's more simple so that you can dress up and dress down and wear it in multiple occasions just like a good pair of pants, I think like a good long denim skirt is so easy to pair outfits with. And honestly, I could have made hundreds of outfits using these two items, but I really narrowed it down to key outfits um, with very basic staples that you could find in your closet and few statement pieces. Let's start out with the blue denim. I'm actually going to wear this cutout white sweater for the first look. Both of these pieces are from Korea. I think they have such good taste in elevating basics. The cutout helps flare up the basics a little bit. And in terms of shoes, I'm going with my Rag & Bone combat boots. Loving the warm color palette I have going on here. And I go more in depth about the color palette in my previous videos on colors and fabrication. The general rule of thumb is to mix light with light colors. But the cool thing about blue denim is that it can really flex cool tone, warm tone, depending on how you style it. In this case, I'm playing with both cool and warm by bringing in this blazer. And when you're going for that oversized look, I highly, highly recommend for you to buy things within your size that were intentionally designed to be oversized instead of buying things that are way bigger than your normal size. That way it's oversized in just the right places and it doesn't look like you're wearing your dad's blazer unintentionally. In terms of accessories, I would definitely say try to match all your accessories together, like the shoes and the bag. I think it just cleans up the look a lot nicer. And bonus points, if there's elements within your outfits that actually directly match to the accessories. Another big reason why I love midi skirts is that you can easily transition from colder transitional weathers like the previous two outfits into more spring and summer oriented outfits like this one with just a switch in the top. Wanted to lean more into this like grungy chic look with this vest so I'm going to wear these black wedges from Dolce Vita. This brand I came across a lot at TJ Maxx and I've unintentionally collected a lot of them. Um, I think I have a pair of boots from them for sure, but overall very comfortable and I highly recommend you check out their brand website as well. They have very cute styles. And again, just matching my accessories together and keeping a consistent color palette for that clean look. Now let's go for more of a feminine look with this off-shoulder top. And a lot of colors and styles go with blue denim, but there's nothing so crisp and fresh like a white top paired with blue denim. And we're leaning into the bright and light theme of this outfit by pairing it up with very neutral colored sandals that I got from TJ Maxx. And personally, I have a long torso, so when I was trying to pair things with this denim skirt, I didn't want to go for tops that were longer than at hip. So all of the tops that I'm wearing, I try to make sure that you know it's proportionate, and if not, I definitely try to elevate that with some sort of heels. Wanted to make this outfit a little more special with this baby blue tweed bag.
All right, and back to another grunge and chic outfit. This layering of tank tops gives me flashbacks to my middle school days where we intentionally wanted to show like the little Hollister and Abercrombie logos we've had in the corner. But regardless, I still think layering tank tops, especially if they're different cutouts, is such a fun way to elevate your looks. Nevertheless, one tank top will do and you can definitely swap it in for different colors. The denim skirt really is intended to go with every basic. As for accessories, I'm just wearing my mini brown crossbody bag along with my Birkenstocks. This next outfit is by far one of the easiest outfits I've put together. Bring your favorite crew neck, sweater, it can be oversized, maybe it's your favorite band or favorite sports team, but easy to really dress it down, pairing it up with your favorite sneakers and some comfortable bag. And I think what was needed in this outfit for me were pops of colors, so I'm doing exactly that with some primary colors in my accessories. And now we're moving on to the black slash dark gray denim skirt. And honestly guys, everything that I've tried on to this point can be easily paired back up with this. I think it just really goes to show that timeless classic silhouettes and pieces can really be mixed and matched so easily together. But in this case, I'm swapping out the shoes and the accessories to lean into a different grungy motif. Love these Converse, love this fanny pack, but it's kind of giving like, grayscale, um, a lot of black and white, but such a cool look. And outfit eight, again, is the vest that I've worn with the blue denim, but in this case, different look, different feel, and this is one of the ways that you can really maximize your closet without buying so many pieces. Halter top is a must for me during spring and summer. I think knowing my body type, this versus like a normal tank top, I prefer the look of this so much better when it comes to my shoulders and arms. With this halter top, I'm changing up the shoes to more of a chunky dad sneaker vibes from Zara and switching out to a black mini bag to really bring out the black in the shoes. And the thing about this look is it's so effortless and probably requires five minutes of your time to put it together in the morning, but you look hella stylish. And if you would like more coverage from the halter top, I would recommend layering it up with this vest. Um, I personally love like tonal looks. So in this vest halter tops, probably because I go for a ray of beige when I go shopping, but it kind of matched seamlessly. Here is an alternative to the vest as a layering piece. This short sleeve button down is from Everlane, such good quality and such a good alternative to a layering piece instead of like a long sleeve for spring and summer. Vest into good basics and you'll learn how easy it is to really mix and match for you to create different outfit combinations. And we're down to the last two outfits using this cute ass halter neck top. I love this top. It's from a brand called Aster. I believe they're spelled A-S-T-R. And I'm just going with an all black. I really wanted to give all the attention to this top. It's flowy, it's pretty. And I think where it lands on my stomach really adds more height to the look. So, you know, there's a top, there's a little bit of midriff showing and then it goes onto the skirt and even with an elevated heel shoes it just elongates the figure really well and for the last outfit keeping everything else the same but just showing you guys an alternative accessory and bag option so here i'm back to my birkenstocks and my brown crossbody bag for more av casual look using the same halter neck top And that marks the end of today's video. Thanks for being here today as always. And if you guys have any future ideas or questions about you know, what to wear or how to wear things, leave it down in the comments below and I will certainly factor that into my future videos. Have an amazing day and see you guys next time. Bye.